you mentioned the research and how important that is. Do you think the, the web has something to do with that now? What, what kind of an influence do you think that all the new technologies have on uh, new professionals coming into that? Yeah, it, it's, it's such an advantage. And it's also a disadvantage if you don't use it. Uh, because I have no patience now for somebody who doesn't understand what you're all about. Somebody who hasn't done the basics of checking the website, really reading the website. Uh, and you, you come in and then all of a sudden you ask a question that clearly is uneducated. Uh, you could get away with that because in the olden days because you, know, you just didn't have the access to the information. Today almost all the answers are out there. And so it really helps you prepare to come in. The young people I'm seeing today that are just totally aware, uh, they walk through that door knowing everything they should about uh, the agency or the company that I was working with at the time. And that's, that's just uh, uh, unbelievable. It's all based on the technology changes. Mm -hmm. So are journalists the watchdogs of businesses? They used to be. Uh, they still think they are, mm -hmm. but they're not. It's far broader than that now. Everyone's a watchdog. Uh, we're so empowered now with the ability. I mean, I blog. Uh, it, it's it's you, you, you just have so many avenues to get points of view out there. So, so we're we're so engaged that you d you never know where it's going to come from. Uh, they still play a huge role, but uh, very often they're following somebody else's lead on the story and uh, they've, they're, they're no longer where they used to be and they know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> They're as frustrated as, as some corporate people are that it's not as easily controlled messaging as it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, are there any other changes that you've observed in the practice of PR during your career? I think the biggest one is I thought it was stressful when we only had two news cycles a day, uh, some 20 years ago, 25, 30 years ago, definitely was easy. You knew that by the time you answered the question for, uh, at noon for an afternoon paper or at 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock for the morning paper that your job was done. Uh, and you, you, you had that window, that luxurious window of time between the media calling and you have to get an answer. And now it's totally instant. Absolutely, you have to, you have to be on top of so many more issues. You also have to uh, be uh, able to admit that maybe you don't have the answer faster than we used to in, in the past. Oh, and the, the, the wonderful thing about current technology as well that I, I think uh, has, has helped expedite uh, movement of information is we didn't, we didn't have a voicemail when I started out and uh, a, an assistant or the person at the desk next to you would take a, a little message and it'd be put on your desk and then you'd sort through the messages to see who you're going to call back. So, you know, just a quantum leap in all kinds of technology and communications that, that has changed the fact that this is, this is instant, uh, no longer two, uh, uh, two news cycles a day. And I think that's, that's what the, the, um, the, the quantum change in what all of us are doing uh, versus where we used to be. And we thought we were busy before. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No idea, right? exactly. <laughs> they have no idea. 